Hey preschoolers, today I have another monster story for you. Hopefully it's going to be a silly monster and not a scary monster, but we'll just have to see. So this book is called The Monster at the End of This Book. Starring lovable furry old Grover. He says, hello everybody. Hmm. He says, oh, this is a very boring page. What is on the next page? Wait, what did that say? On the first page, what did that say? Did that say there will be a monster at the end of this book? It did? I am so scared of monsters. <laughs> Shh, listen. I have an idea. If you do not turn any more pages, we will never get to the end of this book. And that is good because there is a monster at the end of this book. So please, do not turn the page. What do you think? You turn the page. Maybe you do not understand. You see, turning pages will bring us to the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. But this will stop you from turning pages. See, I am tying the pages together so you cannot. Oh, can I? You turned another page? You do not know what you are doing to me. Now stop turning pages. Oh, he's getting very upset. There, I, Grover, am mailing this page to the next one so that you will not be able to turn it. And we will not get any closer to the monster at the end of this book. Oh, he's pounding all the nails in. I think I can pull through the nails. All right, all right, all right. Do you know that every time you turn another page, you not only get us closer to the monster at the end of this book, but you make a terrible mess. Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to knock down all that wood. This will stop you from turning pages. A heavy, thick, solid brick wall. I would just like to see you try to turn this page. Do you think I'm strong enough to turn a page with bricks? I haven't been working out lately. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh. Whew, look at all those bricks I knocked down. Do you know that you are very strong? I am pretty strong. The next page is the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. Oh, I am so Please do not turn the page. Please, 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 please. Should I do it? Well, look at that. This is the end of the book, and the only one here is me. I, lovable furry old Grover, am the monster at the end of this book. And you were so scared. I told you and told you there was nothing to be afraid of. The end. What? Did he trick us into thinking there was a scary monster at the end of the book and it was just him? That's kind of a letdown. Oh, he says. I'm so embarrassed. That was pretty ridiculous. But you know what? Sometimes it's fun to pretend about monsters. But you know what? Monsters aren't real, so we don't need to be scared of them. And if we do get kind of scared, we can always ask God to help us to not be afraid. We can trust in him because the Bible tells us that God is always watching us. He knows what's going on in our lives and he knows when we need to be especially protected and helped to feel more safe. So you can always ask God for help if you feel scared. But I'm glad that this ended up being a silly book and not a scary book. So I'll see you tomorrow.